All right, that is a wrap on this setup. Racetrack is put into place. Speakers are all hooked up. Got the racetrack running the power cords up on both sides. Very clean setup. Yo, what is up guys? What is going on? It is DJ Rick Webb and we're back at it with an install. It is a Saturday right now and we are at Lifestyle Gym. This is a new gym in Caldwell, Ohio and we're here installing a sound system. That's right, we're gonna be installing a sound system both in the main gym here and in the back room area. Plus we're gonna be installing a mic headset for the main trainer here. Some of you guys might have been seeing on Instagram I was hinting at I got some Eon 610s, some Eon 615s, and this uh, very fancy Shure mic that we're gonna be installing for the trainer to do all of her classes in the back studio area, which is back here. So back here we have the studio class area, so we're gonna be installing two speakers back here, the two 10s are gonna go back here, and then the two 15s are gonna be in the main room. So first thing, we're gonna be mounting on this wall, on those two corners right there, we're gonna be putting the two speakers, they're gonna sit just above uh, kind of where this wood frame is. The mount's gonna come out here. Mounts are going to be these right here, which are on stage uh, wall mounts. So we got them right here. They lag bolt in, two lag bolts, and then you get a speaker pole mount. So they'll be mounted right up there and right up there. Main reason we're doing them on this wall is because this is a stud wall. This is solid concrete. That would be a pain in the butt to actually mount to, plus it's I, I'm not a fan of mounting stuff on concrete. The two speakers back here are going to be on either side of this. They're going to be mounted uh, just above where the mirror level is, in a way. So I'm going to put you guys on a tripod and we're going to go install the first speaker. The lighting here is great. All right, there you go. There's one mount installed. We gotta do the other mount and then we can put the speakers up and start wiring. But basically it's pretty simple. Drill a hole and you take these big lag bolts right here and you, you wrench them in. Big thing, the wrench them in, that's what I've been taught over the years. You never wanna use like a drill to put these in because you might screw too far and then the threads won't have the full power. I always just use a manual wrench to wrench them in with lag bolts so that way you got the most amount of force coming back. All right, so both speakers are now mounted up. We got the one behind me here and the one in the corner over there. I went ahead and ran power. There are outlets running right along the top here that are powering the lights that you probably can't see because it's too bright over there. Um, but next thing I'm going to move on to is hooking up our Belkin Bluetooth adapter. So we're gonna use the Belkin Bluetooth adapter, hose a uh, 3.5 millimeter to XLR cable and we're gonna hook both speakers up off of the Bluetooth adapter. This is very similar to what we did at Cambridge's gym, uh, but we're gonna be doing the same thing here and the same thing in the back, but the back is also gonna have the microphone hooked up. So a little bit additional stuff in the back, but uh, yeah, that's all I'm doing right now is just wiring it up, and uh, next time I check in, we'll have music playing in the main gym, and then we'll move on to the back. Let's go. We're all installed in the main room here. I went on my phone with the Eon app, and EQ'd everything properly, made sure it sounded good, and we're all hooked up, ready to go. So there's Eon 1 on the on stage stand. All the cables run up there. The Belkin receiver is right up here. And then the other speaker's down here. So here's the back area. We're gonna be putting one speaker over here, one speaker over here. We're gonna be running a Shure QLX. It's probably gonna sit up on that ledge up there. And uh, we're also gonna be mounting Lake and bought these lights. So we're gonna just zip tie those to the bottom of the A-frames on the on stage stands. But right now I'm finding the studs over here. Gonna mount it up over here first and then gonna go over there. Uh, we're gonna have to run racetrack, so I bought some racetrack. Racetrack is just cable runners, so we're gonna run the cable down, up, and over to run power up to this speaker, and same thing over there, so that way it's nice, clean, and professional, as well as we'll probably run, uh, the XLR will probably just run across the mirror, the top of the mirror across there. All right, that is a wrap on this setup. Racetrack is put into place. Speakers are all hooked up. Got the racetrack running the power cords up on both sides. Very clean setup. Used a lot of zip ties to hold everything down over here, but uh, it's all set and ready to go.
just gotta clean up. Anyways guys, that is everything for this install here at Lifestyle Gym in Caldwell, Ohio. Sound system is all hooked up, microphone is hooked up, Bluetooth systems are hooked up. Sounds great, Lakin is very happy, and uh, yeah, that's all. This is probably a quick video, but um, I'm gonna get out of here. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button, and like always guys, my name is DJ Club. Keep the records spinning, and I'll see you guys next time.